in a baseball off-season marked by a lack of activity around the game, the Orioles arrive at their latest checkpoint in the winter calendar with their focus exactly where it's been at each previous one. After being outbid on some of their starting pitching targets ahead of the winter meetings, they look to use franchise cornerstone Manny Machado to rebuild their rotation. By the holiday shutdown, they'd moved on to other priorities after the widespread interest in the three-time All-Star didn't yield a sufficient offer. The last time we heard Orioles first baseman Chris Davis, he had gathered the traveling beat core together at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida before the final game of the season and took the blame for his frustrating 2017 campaign, relaying that it was as difficult to go through as it. The last time we heard Orioles first baseman Chris Davis, he had gathered the traveling beat core together at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida, before the final game of the season and took the blame for his frustrating 2017 campaign, relaying that it was as difficult to go through as it. Now, with the club's three-day pitching mini-camp beginning Monday and ending Wednesday barely a month before spring training commences the Orioles' off-season haul hasn't made much of an impact on their list of needs. We've got to go out and staff our 2018 club, Executive Vice President Dan Duquette said. It's past the holidays, and it's a new year. Our focus is going to be on staffing our club to be competitive in 2018. We're still looking to add some pitchers here to our club, and we haven't completed our shopping list and checked off the boxes for some of the other things we'd like to add to our ball club before we get going. We're still looking around at a couple different things we think we need to get going. At present, the items on that shopping list will join a team that does include Machado, who is entering his final year of club control ahead of what's expected to be a historic free agent payday. While clubs have maintained interest in Machado past the Orioles' soft late December deadline, and offers have come in since, those offers still haven't come close to the expectation the Orioles set of two young, major league starting pitchers. And as seen with the 11th hour drama surrounding the possible trade of Zach Britton in July, even offers that satisfy from a baseball standpoint require ownership approval, which is a threshold of its own. The Orioles' list includes more than just pitching though the rotation still has three open spots in it around Kevin Gaussman and Dylan Bundy. They want to add a left-handed bat, whether it be as a utility man or a spare outfielder. A veteran catcher to serve as a fallback option should rookies chance Cisco and Austin wins not be ready come April is also possible. And with Britain out for at least the first half of the season with an Achilles injury, a hard-throwing left-handed reliever becomes a bigger priority. But all of those additions at this point will be joining Machado, not replacing him, as the Orioles look to rebuild a rotation that bears most of the blame for the team's disappointing 2017 season. How well they do that will almost wholly determine how their 2018 season, possibly the last with Machado, Britain and All-Stars Adam Jones and Brad Bratch will go.